In this chapter, we're going to learn more about C Sharp's input and output methods. In other words, how to get data into our programs and more about how to get data out of our programs. We've already used console.writeline quite a bit, but there's more to say about writeline and write, so we'll look at those later. We're going to start out in this lesson learning how to input strings and chars or characters into our program. So let's get started. We'll start out with strings. We're going to create a string variable name. Then we're going to prompt the user to enter their name. And then we're going to get that input using console.readline. Readline reads everything the user types up to the enter key and stores that in the variable that we've put on the left hand side. And then we can write out. So let's run this program. So if your name is Mary Smith, your name is Mary Smith. So you see what happened. I typed Mary Smith and hit the enter key. Mary Smith was stored in the variable name, which you have right here. And then we wrote it out. Your name is Mary Smith. So that's really quite simple. What you need to know is that readline reads your data in as a string. Now, you may not want to do a string. You may want to do a character or a char. So you want to enter a letter. So we're going to, have to do that a little bit differently. First, let me comment out this code. I'm going to do that using the comment out command on the icon bar, like so. That comments out all my lines at once, saves me a little bit of typing. So I'm going to create a variable, char letter. I'm going to prompt the user to enter a letter, enter the letter, Y or N. And then we're going to write letter equals, and now here's where it gets a little tricky. You can't just write read, which is the command. We have to convert it from integer, which is what read stores the input as, into a char. So just like we did convert to int32 earlier to convert from double to integer, here we have to convert what read reads, which will be the integer value of letter, the ASCII value, into char, and then store that in the variable. So then we can write out what they entered. You entered, space, and then the letter, and then we'll put a period again to be grammatical. Let's run that program. I'll do a Y. You entered Y. And that would work with any letter, of course. What we've seen in this lesson are two ways to read data into our program. Using console.readline to read strings. That could be one word or a whole sentence. Even more than that, but generally it's going to be limited to just a few words. We saw how to use read to enter char data. We just had to make sure that after we used console.read that we converted it to char using convert dot to char. So that wraps up this lesson on entering strings and character data. Now let's move on to the next lesson where we're going to learn how to enter numbers.